So Keith, why is sport so important in helping Europe overcome its current health needs? Sport is essential for so many different um, reasons, for well-being, mental well-being, for um, physical skills, for uh, fundamental basic movements, for uh, a healthy heart, for exercise, for sociability. I mean, it, it ticks every single box. If there was actually a drug you could buy that did and gave the benefits that sport does, everybody would buy it. And from your own playing experience, you're best known, uh, for obviously, for your career with Ireland and the Lions in rugby, but you played a broad range of sports. Well, I would, to be honest, I think sport is for everyone. It is across every spectrum. I don't think you need to focus as a young man or a young uh, boy into one sport too early. They're all complementary, actually. The skills from one lead on to the skills to another and the skills from another. It's pretty much why seasons work for sport. Um, there's a benefit across all of them. And you'll actually see that some guys that are good at one sport are good at others are good at others. But sport isn't just competitive sport. It is also recreational sport. And it is the element of exercise, of not very high intensity, of not being entirely competitive. And all of those factor in as well. So as a child, I played hurling, soccer, rugby, tennis, I hiked, um, we went running in, in the hills, uh, we went swimming in the river and that's one of the elements too. We see all these great facilities that we have but we also have the great outdoors and the ability in Ireland in particular to be able to look and see the rivers that we have, see the mountains that we have, the walkways that we have, it is accessible to all children, to everybody who actually wants to get out and do something. They just need an extra little bit of a push from time to time, and there's no harm in that. And um, But there is something brilliant about having it on your doorstep. And, of course, with our friends across Europe, you've seen uh, here in Ireland a little bit of the GAA's Healthy Club project and what it's trying to do in terms of broadening the reach of the local sports club beyond its playing membership. What would you say to sports associations across Europe and why would you encourage them to get involved in the sports, uh, sports Clubs for Health project? When I look at the, the GA in Ireland and I see what it's able to be and what it has done for generations and generations, it's been a focus for every village, every town, every city and all the different uh, communities that sit within that. Um, they have a link, they have an immediate link from uh, formative ages of six and seven years of age, um, they can have an influence on, on the positive outlook that sport can give um, and the positive benefit that sport can give and that hurling and gay football give, um, which is a sense of coordination, it's a sense of fitness, it's a sense of belonging, a sense of teamwork, discipline. You know, these are all the things that you want it to be. But I, when I look back and see what the GA have, have done, you know that you can have an influence. You can shape the minds and bodies of children um, Europe over by using the GAA actually as a template. It works. It's still a work in progress. It still has to improve, but that's the basis of everything. You know, you always want to be a little bit better.